Good morning, folks. Ray Bissett coming to you from the Firmu Private Personal Training Studio. Today's subject is about today's diseases, viruses, trying to cover them all, but mostly the viruses that we should be protecting, not only from the outside in. You hear a lot about protecting yourself from the outside in, you know, through uh, mainstream media, other me forms of media. We don't hear too much about protecting yourself from the inside out. That's what I'm gonna, uh, that's what I'm here today to tell you what I do, the, the preventive measures that I take that I feel work very well for me, okay? I'm not here to say this is for you, I'm just saying what I do, okay? Number one uh, supplement that I take, well, number one is exercise and diet. That is a prescription, folks. That is a prescription, okay? Just like you would get at a, a doctor's office, I prescribe exercise and healthy, clean dieting. Uh, what does that mean? Well, clean eating, and you've heard that term before, we overuse it sometimes, but clean eating is, is food that is, is not processed, unadulterated, meaning it's not added with uh, genetically modified organisms and things like that. And you can usually tell what an inflamed or a GMO product is or a um, uh, processed food is, is if you open it up out of its natural casing, out of its packaging and leave it out for a couple months and it doesn't rot. Folks, I gotta tell you, more than likely, it's an inflamed, inflammable uh, uh, food. In other words, I mean, we have a tube from one side to the other. In the process, anything that gets absorbed in our bodies is called digestion. Well, if it can't be oxidized by the air, okay, there's a missing molecule where they have a strand of carbons, and I wanna get too heavy on this, and they pump in a hy uh, uh, hydrogen, okay, it makes it unstable, an unstable uh, 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 cell, molecule. So when that happens, it's preserved, okay? So that drops our immune system, slows down our digestive system, and overall makes you kind of feel bloaty and, and, and not all that great. So anyway, that's pretty much what clean eating is, is eating the good stuff, stuff that's grass-fed, stuff that came from a farm, stuff that you know of. Just like, you know, I when you come to see me, I don't reconstruct your whole eating program. I just take one little bit at a time and replace it with something that's a little bit more nutritious, something that you can work with, okay? I'm not here to hit, hand you a piece of paper and say, here's your diet, because that never works. In all my years of experience, it's never worked for anybody, but having you take a picture of what you're eating, send it to me, uh, text it to me, and let me take a look at it, it's for discussion on our next session. Anyway, that's another video down the road. So getting back to uh, the subject of what I do to protect myself from the inside out against viruses. Well, number one, we have to understand how our immune system works. What provides energy or a good source to maintain a good metabolism and immune system. The immune system is going to fight the virus. Most people that get sick and die are ones that have the underlying conditions uh, like diabetes. You know, that's a preventable um, uh, uh, condition. Same with high blood pressure, you know, high cholesterol. Those are all, you know, self-inflicted. And it's not that hard to reverse that and clean it up. And you can, you know, it's almost impossible to stay away from the virus, no matter what you put on, unless you put on a NASA spacesuit, really, that you're not 100% protected. So what I'm here is just to tell you what I do. Now, vitamin D is one of my go-to products. This is the best stuff that I find that supports your immune system. It's, uh, you can get it through the sun. However, the sun requirements is quite a bit, and it varies from person to person. Okay, so I take about 5,000 IUs a day. This is just me. I'm not, pers I'm not saying anything to anybody else. I'm just saying what I take. And um, every now and then I'll take up to 10,000 IUs, okay? Just for the protection part, okay? It is a fat soluble product, so you have to be kind of careful how much you take on any fat soluble. Now, water soluble like vitamin B, vitamin C, 
you can you have a little bit more room because you'll urinate it out okay but vitamin d is my number one go-to product to protect yourself or supplement um number two and this is not really in any order but but number two in, in my order this is my order uh is vitamin c now the products that i have right here displayed are all pharmaceutical grade in other words what i mean by pharmaceutical grade is that it um it's a highly absorbable if you buy vitamins and they're on sale and they're kind of cheap well you're going to get what you pay for because they may not uh, be absorbed 100 percent that's why they're so uh, the daily rec recommended um, allowance is so high, you know, above what the daily uh, the RDA is, is because it's not going to be all absorbed, and you're going to end up urinated and out or leaving the body. So the the stuff that I have is is great, or the products I have are great. So vitamin C is my second go to um, immune system uh, product. Third is zinc. Now I take a multi. Uh, vitamin, I should say a multi-mineral vitamin that has selenium, magnesium, and, um, and zinc in it already. And a lot of multivitamins have zinc in it also. Uh, but I don't overload on zinc, but I just make it aware. It's also good for hormones too. So zinc is my, these are my three. Actually, I, got, I have one more. It's uh, um, essential fatty acids. And uh, this one, I put my label on it, so I thoroughly endorse this. Essential fatty acids are omega-3 and omega-6, unadulterated and plant-based. That's very important, the plant-based. In other words, uh, for an example, you know, cows will eat grass, or they should. The grass or the uh, omega-3 that's oxygenated gets into the meat of the cow. We eat the meat, we're oxygenated, we're good. These are also an anti-inflammatory. They're great for hair, skin, and nails. Gives you energy, because our bodies are made to burn fat for energy, not sugar. However, with the presence of sugar, your body's gonna use sugar first, okay? That's why weight training is so important. Because it breaks down the muscle, gets the, the sugar out of the muscle, which is in the form of glucose, that's used for energy. It dissipates out of the body. Sugar uh, that's in your blood gets absorbed back into the muscle and it cleans up your blood ready for you to burn fat for energy rather than sugar. Kind of makes sense. I can explain all this in um, one of my free consultations and uh, the information will be below. By the way, if you like uh, what you see here, give me a like and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet to see other videos like this, please do. Anyway, also it has unadulterated, um, oh, let me go back to the omega-3. Also like fish, okay? Uh, this is not a fish oil, this is the parent of um, essential fatty acids. In other words, it comes directly from the plant, not from the plant and a derivative of animals, okay? Because the plants can be genetically modified. You know, and vegans too, I mean, if you're eating plant food all the time, they could be the same way. You're not too much any different than meat eaters, okay? Because of the food that is processed today and it's adulterated, most of it, 90% of it. It's hard to go into a supermarket and find something that's clean. And I just, I explained what clean is. So anyway, um, it also has unadulterated omega-6. Now, omega-6 is like your oils. A good oil, for an example, flaxseed oil, coconut oil. Those are unadulterated, plant-based, very good oils that your body needs. Bad oils, soybean oil, the worst. Okay, it's the most uh, easiest adulterated. Um, easy as processed, and it is, and it cooks at 360 degrees. So when you go to a restaurant, and you get fried food, and that's going, it's, it, even if the meat or the thing that you're buying is good, is, is real, okay? In other words, it's not farm fed. Um, you know, being zapped at six, 360 degrees is gonna get rid of all the nutrients in that, that, that food that you're, that you're eating, okay? Sure, it comes out in 10, 12 minutes, but it's not gonna be the best choice. And that's why, you know, I'm not saying don't go to restaurants at all. I do, I went yesterday, okay? But when you make it a daily habit and a routine, then you're gonna start looking like you go to a restaurant every day, okay, basically. So, um, yeah, so the soybean oil is, uh, is not good for your body at all, okay? So anyway, this stuff right here, uh, I call it X10 Life. 
and it's exclusively here at the firm you and uh, there's some information below if you would like to order some of this or just stop on by and also I will give a free bottle of the EFAs um, as you come in for a um, free consultation look at that how's that okay um, now a lot of the supplements you see here uh, are based upon a blood test now you don't need to have a blood test because normally you can I can tell from your diet uh, what you're taking for supplements now uh, and other variables uh, if you're in need of some kind of supplement or possibly like vitamin B I mean you know everybody you I don't say everybody a lot of people have a deficiency in vitamin B, B. you have to understand what vitamin B does I'll explain that to you just like the other um, other uh, products I have here like mi milk fiscal okay this is good for your liver support you know it cleans out your liver if you have a high uh, liver enzymes on your blood test you know this is what I do for through the blood test is I'll look at your your liver kidney um, your CRP which is c-reactive protein c-reactive protein is responsible for inflammation I'd say responsible for it's an indicator a, a panel on a blood test that shows you if you're inflamed or not okay inflammation is the start of all diseases it has to come from inflammation inflammation is kind of like water retention or if you cut your finger what does it do it swells up if it's swelling up that's water inside uh, to protect that that wound or, or pole or, or whatever the uh, injury is and it doesn't have to be an injury it could be uh, inflammation could come from stress uh, chemically emotionally and uh, physically physically not getting enough sleep overtraining that's one chemically by eating not clean food or uh, adulterated food chemically and then emotionally you know kids school you know today's environment you know things that are going on today just daily stuff so that will get you emotionally so your inflammation levels can rise just because of uh, of your stress levels I also test for cortisol on my blood test by the way my blood tests are very comprehensive and what's so comprehensive about it is a lot of times doctors want to test for what I have on here but they don't because insurance won't cover it and even if or most of the things now uh, the things that they don't cover are the things that make you you <laughs> like DHEA has your doctor ever mentioned hey let's take a look at that I take a DHEA supplement right here okay because it produces uh, testosterone levels that's one of its main jobs it's a precursor to testosterone levels okay so that's pretty important uh, and women can take this too also so if you don't want to um, use any uh, uh, hormone replacement therapy which I also do um, DHA DHEA is a way to get those natural t levels of testosterone higher also just working out working out raises your testosterone levels and also your growth hormone levels so it's really the fountain of youth you know just exercise it and I'm talking about weight training not so much cardio cardio has its place but weight training has a metabolic process in other words when you're done weight training your body keeps burning calories repairing they say uh, repairing itself through the called anabolism okay you break your muscles down while you're weight training then your muscles build back up and that increases your basal metabolic rate which is how many calories you would burn just lying in a coma for 48 hours right but I wouldn't wish I had anybody right now but that's the way it works so it would increase your so if your basal metabolic rate is is 1500 calories you may bump that up quite a bit and just burn fat at rest I mean is there a better way to burn fat but at rest all you have to do is breathe most people I find can do that okay um, I had one lady say to me she's well how about if I just sleep all day well it doesn't work that way unfortunately okay so the, um, another thing I um, I test for all, all the thyroid um, you know t3 t4 you know the T stands for thyroid the three is three molecules of uh, iodine okay you may have an iodine deficiency if your your um, thyroid is sluggish um, you may have high levels of cortisol cortisol runs 180 degrees uh, from your thyroid so if your cortisol levels are up your thyroid uh, is sluggish okay that could be the answer rather than taking a medication again I'm not giving out medical advice I'm just telling you what I know through my research okay 
Um, and uh, we also check for A1C, which is a glucose test over a period of three months. It gives you the average of what your glucose levels are. Now, if you just test glucose, that means you were pretty good. You didn't go to the donut place there for a couple days. You went and had your blood drawn and it comes out low or lower. Okay, but the A1C is the, is the standard for determining if you are diabetic or pre-diabetic. Now, insulin resistance is another thing. Usually, if you skip a lot of meals, insulin resistance is, you don't have to be diabetic to be insulin resistant. And I could do a whole new video on that. In fact, I've done a, a couple of, uh, touched upon that, uh, insulin resistance. So these are all the things that if you can't lose fat weight and you can't understand why, okay, all these factors right here, there's not one magic pill, there's no way. It's a combination. It sounds kind of compl complicated right now because it's new to you, you know, but if you come here every day, it's an education experience. This is what it is. I'm an educator, you know, just as well as a personal trainer, just as well as, you know, my nutrition and, and uh, uh, hormone uh, experience. So you get it all here. You don't have to go to a nutritionist or, or a, a HRT doctor, hormone replacement doctor, or a, a, a trainer. They don't all work together. Here you get the whole package and in, 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 in right here, right in front of you. Okay, um, you know, berberine is another uh, a good product that I use. Mostly uh, helps in the glucose absorption, you know, so that you're, you're getting rid of that, uh, that sugar that's going through your blood. Remember this uh, one physiological fact is that when you have high levels of sugar in your, in your blood, you can't burn fat for energy. It's impossible. You can't do it. So uh, if you're doing cardio uh, specifically to lose fat, if you're doing it for, you know, um, uh, for other, other reasons, great. You know, if it relaxes you, you like to do it, it makes you feel good, hey, that's great, okay? But if you're doing it for, for fat loss, you're gonna have a long ways to walk. You know, kind of like Forrest Gump walking across the country a couple times, okay? Because you never really get down to your fat cells because you get so much sugar. And, not, and also, you know, cardio makes you hungrier. You know, if you go back to the spaghetti dinner you had before, I'm not saying you did, but I'm just saying, I've heard it <laughs> quite a few times, then you're going to just get back in that same that same circle. You're going to be kind of like a treadmill to me is like a, a hamster in a wheel in a cage going around and around and around. And hamsters aren't skinny, right? They're fat. Okay, so that doesn't work. Okay, so anyway, also I have uh, magnesium is a great, uh, one of my favorite go-to, I say go-to, one of my favorite supplements because it also stops cramping for muscles. Um, it's also, um, it, uh, it aids in everything that I can list, that I could think of. Uh, DIM is a um, estrogen blocker. So guys with gynecomastia or man boobs, this can help you out. It's not a prescription. All these are not prescriptions. This is all over the counter stuff, okay? But in combination with supplementation, weight training, proper nutrition, hormonal balance, that's an option, okay? It's just an option. It's something I offer. It's not something I push upon, okay? If, if somebody has, and I also test for levels of testosterone, free testosterone, estradiol, you know, those type of hormones. Insulin, how important is insulin? Insulin is what blocks you from losing fat. So if you're insulin resistant, you are probably not gonna know it, and more than likely, depending on what doctor you go to, they're not gonna detect it either. Okay, because they, they're, they're not more physiologists, they're more, they study me medicine more so. Not, a, not all doctors, of course, but the ones that I've seen, that, that's what they do. Okay, and also your testosterones are low. It could be your serum testosterone, which is your total testosterone, might be okay. All right, but the, your free testosterone or your bioavailable testosterone might be low, and that's why you're not making gains in the gym. Well, my testosterone's a thousand, you know, at a thousand which is great, but if your free testosterone is 17, then you have this uh, SHBG, which is a, it's a little protein that attacks, attaches to your free testosterone that makes it unavailable or um, not bioavailable, I should say. Okay, so all these things, I know it sounds kind of complicated, but I make it pretty easy. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a learning process. There's no one trick. There's no one magic pill. It doesn't work. Well, let me ask you, has it worked for you? Well, if it hasn't, give me a call. The information is uh, right below. 
and um, you know, let's make an appointment. And again, it's a free consultation. You know, I have more people to walk out of here more educated than their than their trainers are, or you know, other people, other professionals. Okay, because I got it all together. I put everything as far as health together. Not too many trainers or people do that. Okay. So anyway, this is Ray Bissett. I'm signing out. If you have any other questions or comments, uh, you can email me. The information is right below. Um, or call, text, uh, smoke signals work sometimes. You know, whatever it takes. Anyway, so be healthy out there. And, um, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, prescribe anything or, or lay anything on it on anybody. I'm just saying this is what I do. This is what, and I've, I haven't been sick in, in a long time. So, um, all right, so eat clean, uh, take your supplements, vitamins, and if you have any questions, contact me. Ray Bissett, signing out, and have a great day.